Vlogmart day. What is today actually? Sorry. Six. Vlogmart day six. And today, um, I didn't have any work or anything, so I was just able to go and just hang out. And Chris, Chris, Carlin, Anthony, and I, and Steven, we watched. Um, the first and then the last two Harry Potter movies because Chris didn't want to watch all of them because honestly I thought they were like a half an hour or half an hour an hour and a half long but they ended up being like two hours a piece which I wasn't actually prepared for but you know stuff happens like that but yeah it was a lot of fun we had pizza ate way too much candy I traded in all the DS games so that's good and it got Final Fantasy Final Fantasy 3, and then a Nancy Drew game that I was curious about, but if I don't like it, I'm just going to take it back. But, um, something interesting that I watched today, uh, was by the Invisible Children, um, organization, which if you're unfamiliar with it, it's, um, they've been fighting for these children in Uganda that have no voice and who have been abducted and made to become an army and kill their own people and their own parents and brothers and sisters and it's just really sad and I, I've known about the organization for a while but um you know I just never really I guess connected with it you know never I was kinda skeptical of it to be honest but I just watched their most recent video and honestly, I was really kind of touched, um, like a little thrown back by it. And just because it was so, you know, like, yes, they do need money for their organization. And yes, they do need you to buy t-shirts and stuff like that. Like, they need all those things, but... What they're really asking for is not just that. Like, that's a very minor detail in what they're asking for in this video. It's like a 30-minute long video, so. But what they're asking for is just for you to spread the word. Like, that's it. Like, about this man um, who's just a terrible person. And it really is just like... I mean, I'm just, like, looking at it right now, and it's just, like, it's just, like, the pictures of these people that are victims of him. His name's, um, Joseph, I think that's his first name, Joseph Coney. Um, I just remember Coney, 2012. I don't really actually remember his first name, but, like, he forces people, children, children he forces people and children to just mutilate their own people like I mean I saw this picture of a woman's ears and her lips and her nose were just cut off like they cut them off and you know and the picture that really um, kind of just got me um, to really think about this particular you know, organization was when they compared it to the Holocaust and, you know, all those Jews were being slaughtered and, you know, and everyone got involved. I mean, they kind of had to get involved. That was a really big injustice, um, a, you know, a, a, an act of racism and this is the same, like, this man is doing the same thing and he's been doing it for years and years and years and no one's known like how does that happen how does like you know devastating you know how how does people dying and children shooting their parents and mutilating people's faces like how does that go you know unnoticed like and he made a good point, like, he, the guy who does the video, he, he has a kid, he said, if my kid were 
abducted and then forced to do this, it would be all over the news. Like, that's what people care about is, and, and but it happens just, you know, a country away or whatever, and no one notices, no one cares. And it's sad, and I just, I never really, I mean, I mean, honestly, like, if your child was abducted and forced to do all those things, would you just want people to just go, oh gosh, that is so sad, I'm so sorry. Or would you want them to call everybody they knew and told them, this is what this guy looks like, you need to protect your children, you need to tell everyone else, you need to get people to find him, you need to get the law enforcement involved. That's what you would want to happen. And if that's what you would want someone to do, for, it's the freaking golden rule. If you want some, if you want that to happen to you, if you want people to treat you like that, then you need to treat people like that. And that's just kind of where it hit it off for me that, you know, when I do have children, whenever that may be, I want someone to speak for them. And that's how those women and parents feel there. They want someone, anybody with power, anybody with anything, anyone with a heart to go and find and spread the word and make it known and make, I mean, when the American, you know, when the public shows that they care about something, people, you know, the whole world knows, like, and it's just, I, I don't know, I was just, it was just one of those things where I just watched it and I was just like, kind of just like with my mouth open, like, who knew, like, I, I had no idea, like, I knew that there were problems, but you know, I didn't know the extent extent of the problem, like, holy freaking crap, you know, and so if you get anything out of today's vlog, don't get out of Chris may skip the five different Harry Potter movies during our Harry Potter marathon, but get out of the fact that one man is going into his country and killing and abducting children and you are watching this and you're gonna put it file in the back of your mind and you're gonna forget about it and you're not gonna say anything you're not gonna do anything about it that's sad and honestly I mean it's honestly so easy like if you are watching this video right now on my tumblr scroll a little farther down and you'll find something to reblog I mean it's that easy like just push reblog and you're getting the information out it's not that hard I mean if that's it if that's all you can do that's all you can do and that's understandable we can't all go and do things but spreading the freaking word like is that hard you already probably talk and say things and type or something like you probably communicate somehow and you don't even have to do it every single moment every single day just once and then one person will hear it and they'll think about it and then they'll go look and then they'll tell someone else and then they'll tell someone else and it's a chain reaction so yeah that was my very interesting day for that was the main thing that happened to me today. I mean, I don't really... Wow. So, yeah. I hope you had a great relaxing and um, great, just fantastic sixth day of March. Because it was definitely an interesting one for me.